What's up guys, today I wanted to go over another repost similar to that of the dolly models. In this case, rather than having text generate a photo, it actually generates videos, which is very cool. This repo of course being called Cog Video, as you can see here. So what we see here, while it looks like a photo, if we click on it, it'll it's actually a video and it'll play, are some generated outputs from this repo. So I'll go ahead and click play, and here's some of the stuff we can see is like a woman drinking a glass of water, click again, a lion drinking a glass of water, and a whole bunch of just cool generated stuff that was generated through text just like Dolly. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to go over how to actually run this model on your own computer. If we scroll down, we can find more information as the paper, uh, but what you may care about is they actually have a web demo, if you click on this link, You'll go to a website and there are some pre-generated videos like like the Dolly OpenAI Dolly website where you can uh, see some pre-generated combinations of text sequences. And scrolling down more, there's just some more generated sequences and the like. But uh, let's get down to the actually running part of it. So they used NVIDIA A100s. Whether it's the 40 gigabyte or the 80 gigabyte variant, it doesn't say, but in either case, the way this model works is there's two stages. Uh, all these generated samples were using the two stages. Uh, if you want to use both stages, you're gonna need an A100 or something that has a lot of VRAM. With an RTX 3090, you can run the first stage, what still gets you decent results, but not quite as good as uh, these results. So just something to keep in mind. But before going any further, let's go ahead and clone the repo. So we'll do that by scrolling back up to the top. And so at this period in time, I actually made a pull request in order to run it how I think is best, with, which is with Docker. And so we were going to go here and go to my pull request and clone that. But if this is in the future and the pull request is accepted, we will clone it just like normal by going over here. So the next step, I'm going to show you how to clone it from my pull request. So if we go over to pull requests and we go to closed and this currently active open pull request is closed, then we can just stick to the main repo. However, if it's still open, we can then click on it and then click on this link. And now we are at uh, my version of the repo and we'll need to clone this repo in order to follow the rest of the guide. You could also find my version of the repo under my account, MallorBC, uh, under COG video. So, something to keep in mind. So since this pull request at this moment is not yet merged, let's go ahead and clone my version. We'll copy that. And let's go ahead and paste it. So get clone. Wait for it. And let's go ahead and enter it now. Let's go back to the repo now and scroll down to the download section. So you're gonna to need to have COG video stage one and COG video stage two. They're gonna be zip files and you're gonna to wanna to extract them and it's gonna form folders called COG video stage one and COG video stage two. And they're gonna need me to be in a certain location but we'll go over that in a later step. So go ahead and do that now because they're big and while they're downloading, you can continue on with a few other steps. So while those models are downloading, let's go ahead and continue on with setting up the repo. So we're gonna to need to first build the image just by doing dot backslash build image. And I already have it cached, so it's already built, but nothing's changed and so it should build correctly for you. And then we're gonna to need to do run image. And now we're inside of the container and what we do is we mount the directory that uh, COG video is in. And so, and we put it in workspace. So if we do LS, we can see everything inside of the repo is now inside of the container. And then additionally, it passes in the GPUs you have. So if I do NVIDIA SMI, we can see all my GPUs. At this point, I'm going to assume that you have the two stages downloaded and you have them extracted into the folders from the zip file. The next step is that we need to make a place to actually put the models. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do mcdir 
I'm gonna make a cog video. And go ahead and put both stage one and stage two folders inside of that folder. I already have the folders extracted and so I'm going to go ahead and move them from another location. So I moved them from a old repo and so I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do old cog video and then cog video and then cog video and then we have stage one and stage two so and I move that to cog video and then the same thing except stage two and if we move to cog video now we see both stages and that's what you should have so now I need to go ahead and re-enter the dark container Real simple, we go back to the root of the repo and we do run. And so now I am back inside of the Docker container and there's only one more thing we need to run before we can start running the models. We need to do install image local attention. It's some attention mechanism that uh, was custom that it was compiled for this project and this script will install it for you. So we run that and it's going to go ahead, get the repo that is for this type of attention and build it. And once that's done, we should be good and ready to go with regards to installations. We still need to change one thing in the script, but besides that, we should be good to go. So as we can see, the local attention has been installed. We'll have to install this every time we enter the container or we could do something called Docker commit is where we go ahead and take changes we made from the container and save it to the image that we were running. Uh, but you have to look up Docker commit if you want to do that. If we go back to the repo, we'll see that the script to run for the video generation is located here. And we're gonna need to make a few changes in order to address the memory issues on an RTX 3090. Uh, as well as to point it to the location that we put the stage one and stage two. So let's go ahead and open up VS Code and do that now. So here we have the script that is ran for generating the videos. There are several things that we need to change here. First, we need to change the sat home to reflect where we have the models stored. So if you're following the guide, it'll be workspace, cog video, and that's the first thing we need to change. And then we also need to change from using both stages to just using stage one. That's very important. If you have an A100 or something along those, along those lines, you could uh, keep it the same, but not for an RTX 3090. We need to change batch size from four to one. And then again, max inference batch size from eight to one. At this point, we should be good to go and able to run the model. So here we are back inside the container. Important to remember is that I have installed local attention through the script that we ran earlier. And if you left the container, you need to go ahead and do that again. So now we can go ahead and run the script, but before we do that, we need to make it runnable. So chmod777 and let's go to scripts and then inference and now we can run it. So now let's do scripts, inference cog video pipeline, and hit enter. And so uh, we're downloading some tokenizers, things along those lines, but that'll all be handled. You don't need to worry about any of that. And uh, I'll come back when it is loaded and ready to go. So here it is loaded and ready to go. One important thing that I have not yet mentioned yet is that this model only supports Chinese input specifically simplified Chinese, which uh, is not a big deal. We have Google Translate. So let's go ahead and get Google Translate up. And I think we're gonna input in Chinese a man drinking water and see what that generates. So here we have a man drinking water in Chinese. Important is to swap them, to make sure it like keeps the meaning going back and forth because sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but let's go ahead and copy this. And I'll go ahead and open up the terminal that we're running in and we'll, we'll paste it 
And now uh, it's going to go ahead and run and generate the video. And I will come back with the results and show you what it generated. So the model is now finished. As we can see, it took 182 seconds or roughly three minutes. So it does take a while to generate a video, but uh, not too long. So let's go ahead and see what the result is. So the model generates its output in the folder called output. And if we go and open it, it also then puts the output in a subfolder of the what you said in Chinese. So this says man drinking water in Chinese. Uh, and I'll go ahead and open that. And then we have the frames. And then what's cooler is we have the generated GIF. So let's see what it generated. So man drinking water, we see a man and a glass of water. And uh, it's moving, it's a, it's a video. Uh, so it's not, obviously it's not as clear as some of the demos, but this is only stage one out of a two stage process. Uh, and you can run both stages if you have uh, a better GPU, but with an RTX 390, you only can run the first stage. So I just wanted to briefly reflect on a few things. This is obviously a very cool and exciting development in artificial intelligence, but I do have some concerns. Almost inevitably, the results for models like this will greatly improve. I'm thinking having dolly-like quality output, but for videos and only a few short years time. The public knows what Photoshop is and knows not to immediately trust photos, although many people still do. But when it comes to video, people tend to believe it more. And so fake generated content in the video format is more believable and therefore more concerning. This has already been an issue in the area of deep fakes where a malicious actor creates a deep fake of a politician looking like they're saying something or maybe of the more explicit variety. But deep fakes still require a decent amount of work and they still are not perfect. I must admit, I do fear a future where anyone can go to a computer and type some fake news event that they want a video of and they can get a near photorealistic output generated for them in minutes. I don't believe that there should be a banning of this technology as that would just halt progress, but the public does need to be made aware of these models. And with that said, that's where I'm going to end today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing as I typically cover a wide variety of the latest in AI and tech in general. If you would like to hire me to work on a project similar to this or another AI related project, feel free to contact me and we can discuss it. Lastly, consider joining the Discord server for help with debugging these models as well as discussion on the latest in technology. Thank you so much for watching and please have a great day.